Have you ever encountered a very common problem? The radio simply stops working, starts to fail, or loses power. For most, the solution seems simple. Just change the batteries. But what if it's possible to go further, to give the device a new lease on life, saving money and helping the environment at the same time? Today, we will show how a bit of creativity and some simple tools can transform seemingly dead batteries into a clever solution, extending the life of your little radio and making your day more practical. First of all, it is important to identify the real problem. If the radio is not turning on or has malfunctions, the initial step is always to check the batteries. They are usually the main culprits in this type of situation. Before discarding them, perform a voltage test using a multimeter. Set it to the appropriate voltage, touch the probes to the battery terminals, and take the measurement. If the reading indicates that they are practically discharged, don't worry, this is not the end, but an invitation to innovate. For this, set aside one of the batteries and, with a utility knife, carefully remove the outer casing. Extra caution is needed in this step. Using the utility knife requires calm and precision, always prioritizing the safety of your hands. The goal is to release the positive terminal of the battery, which will serve as the base for our project. The 5mm syringe will be a key component in this process. Carefully remove the plunger, separating the parts to facilitate the next step. Using a utility knife, make a light cut at the tip of the syringe, always ensuring the precision of the adjustment. The goal is to ensure that the length of the syringe matches that of a standard battery so that it fits perfectly into the space designated for the radio compartment. By precisely aligning the length of the syringe, you ensure the ideal fit, preventing damage to the compartment and making the entire assembly more efficient. With these precautions, the modification will be ready to provide the desired functionality, maintaining the practicality and performance of the equipment without compromising its structure. Now, it's time for the secret of this trick. The positive terminal of the battery will receive a small modification with the soldering iron. Melt a little solder and make a dot in the center of the positive terminal cavity. Strip about 3 centimeters of a 1 millimeter flexible wire and connect it to the newly made solder point. The purpose of this wire is to serve as a conductor, allowing the flow of electric current in the final assembly step. Special moments like this connect us even more, don't they? Tell us where you're following us from. Leave your state or city in the comments. And while we're on the subject, tell me, do you still have a battery-powered radio stored at home? Is it part of your memories or is it still in use in your daily life? Share your stories, I'm very curious to know. Insert the wire and the positive pole through the cut tip of the syringe. To ensure everything stays fixed and there is no looseness, use hot glue by inserting the stick in the correct place. Press for a few seconds until it solidifies, and that's it. You now have a solid assembly. If you are not subscribed yet, take this moment to join us. Here you will find a channel full of amazing ideas that will inspire your daily life. Now take the syringe plunger and remove the stopper, that rubber piece at the tip. Carefully screw in a small screw right in the center of the rubber stopper. It will serve as a contact point later when assembling these parts on the radio. This step may seem complicated, but it is essential for the proper functioning of the device. Here we have the secret of our invention. Separate two springs, about six centimeters long and eight millimeters in diameter. These springs will be responsible for ensuring proper contact between the poles of the new improvised battery and the terminals of the radio. Take a piece of copper wire, wrap it around the tip of the screw that you fasten to the stopper, 
and make the wire pass through the inside of one of the springs, winding it in a spiral shape until it reaches the end of the spring. Then, insert the screw fastened to the stopper into the center of the spring, forming a fitting assembly. Now, to power your new power pack, use a 1.5V alkaline battery, like those used in small electronic accessories and calculators. Insert the positive pole of the battery facing into the syringe barrel, so that it is in contact with the copper wire previously left there. Finally, insert the spring touching the negative pole of the battery, using the stopper as the top cover of the assembly. Now comes the final step. Place the other spring in the empty battery compartment of your radio so that it acts as an extension contact. Then insert the original battery that you adapted, now equipped with its new improvised battery inside the syringe housing, back into the radio. When you turn on the device and tune in to an FM station, watch as, magically, the radio starts working again, often more efficiently and for much longer than before. In addition to extending the life of your device and batteries, this method has other benefits. The new set is usually lighter, and the risk of leaks or minor accidents due to excessive use of old batteries is drastically reduced. By reusing components that would otherwise be discarded, you also contribute to reducing electronic waste, helping the environment. This type of gadget makes it clear that, with creativity, knowledge, and a little courage to experiment, it is possible to save, reuse, and innovate at home. If you liked this idea, leave a comment telling us about your experience and what other homemade inventions you would like to learn. Bet on your creativity, trust in your skills, and continue discovering how the simple can be surprisingly functional.